And I want you to turn to your elbow partner and tell them what you think. So we were looking at something engaging, um, we were looking at something that we felt did a lot of the 21st century skills that many of us are looking for, um, which is again that group work, the collaborative, a, a greater understanding. I see teachers talking less and students talking more. I see kids um, explaining their thinking much more regularly. Um, that might be in terms of them coming to the document camera or in front of the, the room and demonstrating or even just in think pair shares. Um, that's something that we really focused on was think pair shares in the classroom and I've been pleasantly surprised with how that's filtering into our other content areas. Um, in writing I'm watching teachers do that as well because it's such a great technique. Um, you know, turn to your neighbor and talk about this. Um, and it gets everybody engaged. Much higher levels of thinking and questioning going on. So a teacher's up there talking and even if they don't ask a divergent question, they always follow up with, how did you know that? Or why do you think that? The interactions with students are really, um, really interesting. They're more thought provoking. I'm not just sitting there telling them the formulas, the algorithms, the answers. There's a lot of questioning. That's my role is questioning to bring out what they already know and try to make the connections to the new knowledge that they're creating. I haven't heard um, a single child this year have a negative attitude about math. They're excited about it. They, they are excited to go to workplaces and practice the, the skills and concepts that they've been taught in group lessons. If I feel that they're not being challenged, I might change the rules of the game. They might have to be using um, multiplication skills. They might have to um, be doing something a little bit different. It wouldn't look very different if you were just looking at the class, but the expectations are easy to address. Children that tend to be tag identified or whether they're not tag identified, that they just have those higher levels of thinking in place. Bridges is really nice in that it's easy to extend those activities. I might expect to see instead of three math sentences in every area on Friday figuring, I might expect five and I might expect them and encourage them to use multiplication. I also feel one of the strengths of Bridges is the ability to differentiate. Especially those kids at the high end, it was sometimes hard to challenge them and it's not nearly as hard in Bridges because there's always another way to solve the problem. A lot more fun to teach, and it's a lot more fun for the students to be involved in. I have kids saying, um, we love math. And I've been in some classes and the teacher goes to pack up and says, okay, we're gonna transition to this, and you hear some groans like, oh no, or can't we keep going, which, you know, that hasn't been my experience in a math program in the past. I've said repeatedly myself to parents as well as staff is I wish I had had this math program when I was a kid.